Yo, right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Militia Rifle Mod, which is being released by user Rob Palmer, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new gun that's sort of meant to be a step above the standard crude pipe weapons that you find in the Fallout 4 Commonwealth, and I simply love this thing, as it is kind of an interesting bridge between the more primitive pipe weaponry and the more nice standard guns you find in the game. And lore-wise, it just makes sense. It is supposed to be a new gun being created by the gunsmiths of the Commonwealth as their skills improve. And that just makes sense, as by this point in the franchise we saw back in New Vegas, various groups like the Gun Runners and even the New California Republic building their own new guns in this post-apocalyptic wasteland, so why not someone out here on the East Coast as well? So it is still a pretty primitive weapon, but not quite as crude as a pipe weapon, and I love it. Now as for what you do get when you do download this mod, let's take a look at the most standard and basic version of the Militia Pistol. And with its standard modifications, you will do 23 damage with 10mm rounds with a firing rate of 55, range of 119, accuracy of 58, and weight of 4.8. And with various modifications, you can really change this gun up into a lot of different things. Now again, it is kind of a bridge between pipe weapons and more deadly standard weapons, so you're never going to do a huge amount of damage with this thing. In fact, the most damage I was able to get out of it was by changing the ammo from 10 millimeter to 308 and doing 52 damage now again that is without skills as with how i usually do these videos so that's just the gun on its own but still you know a pretty nice gun that will serve you for quite some time especially with a good accurate headshot but of course if you know you prefer nice stealthy assault things you can do that too with this gun. You've got plenty of options for different kinds of ammo and different other modification setups, just whatever your heart desires. And that, that is a wonderful thing. Now, as for how you do get your hands on one of these, it is pretty darn simple. Pretty much right from the get-go in the game, you will start seeing these spawn on raiders and gunners, and you'll also find one sitting in the ranger's cabin directly south of Sanctuary. Or, of course, you know, you can do what I did and just spawn it in with console commands. That just, you know, works too. And, uh, yeah, so pretty easy to get your hands on and a good, a good early to mid game weapon, in my opinion. So let's go and take a look at the different modifications and then, of course, have a gander at taking some shots. So let us look first, of course, at receivers. And uh, you'll automatically see, or well, not automatically, but right off the bat, that's a much better way to phrase that. You will start seeing that you can change various kinds of ammunition for this gun from 308 semi-auto receiver to a 45 automatic or semi-automatic to a 556. Now, all the other receivers beyond that will be in the 10 millimeter, and you got everything from advanced to advanced automatic, armor piercing, etc. And then, of course, the uh, just standard receiver down here. Oddly at the end of the list. Typically, you know, you see that up here, but hey, what are you going to do? Now, next in barrels, we have four different options, either a short barrel, a short covered barrel, long or long covered, just, you know, whatever does suit your purpose. Then in the grip category, we actually have a fair few things. We have the standard folded grip, a solid folded grip, a solid stock for more of a rifle, a standard stock, which is basically the folded grip with the bit of it actually folded outward. And then we have the taped folded grip and taped grip stock. So again, just whichever style and stats, of course, you are going for. Now, next, we do have the magazines where we have the standard sort of eight magazine up to an 18, 28, or even a 60 round drum magazine. A very, very nice to have, especially with those automatics. Now, next is in the 
sights category where we have the standard sight down here at the bottom again and then a short scope reflex red dot medium and a long scope all good options and finally the muzzle where we have a compensator and a suppressor so again just whichever modifications you do prefer you do have a fair bit of choice here which is always nice to see you can make a, a pretty wide variety of militia rifles with it so let us go and take some shots and uh there we go just grab out the standard and fire now as you can hear there it is just pretty much the standard 10 millimeter sound or you know so nothing really too new and the animation on it as well is uh borrowed animations from the game but they do serve well enough now as for the standard iron sights I don't really care for much, but hey, we have reflex scopes, etc. So you can change that to whatever you need. Now let's actually take a look at a scoped version with the recoil compensated 308. Again, the most powerful version I was able to make without taking into account any skills. So there we go, a nice scope. And I do love that every part of it, again, the gun you know, looks like it's made in a post-apocalypse, even the scope there. Granted, I mean, it's still better than the pipe rifle, which is, you know, it's supposed to be. But still not quite as good as a normal gun. But overall, a useful weapon, I'd say, in mid to early game. There we are. And finally, the suppressed version here. Ah, uh, yeah, that's always fun. Look at all those rounds downrange. <laughs> now, of course, if you don't uh, go down scope... This thing is uh, tremendously inaccurate, and there goes all the recoil up into the sky. Oh boy, almost vertical completely, but still a very, very nice weapon. And the, the recoil actually isn't that bad to control on. It's pretty easy to uh, compensate for it. But still, but still, <laughs> it's a little wild, but always, always good. Now that of course means it's time to test our uh, Wonderful guns on our usual targets over here of poor Will. And uh, apparently some commenters have actually taken to starting to name the Radstag too. I, I believe it was Randy the Radstag. So uh, yeah, we'll go after him as well with this gun. Which uh, with 52 damage, I don't know how much we're going to do. But okay, take down the dog. And I missed. And I missed again. Oh boy, that's interesting. Is, does it have a, that limited of a range? Oh, nope, there we go. Either I was missing horribly, or we were just outside of its range. One of the two. Huh, well, let's find out with Randy, because he is pretty far down there. Oh, nope, we got a shot. That means I was just an awful, awful, horrible shot. <laughs> oh, no, Randy's not quite dead yet. It's going to take a bit to... Oh, he's run away. Yep, we didn't get him. We got a couple of shots on him, but yeah, yeah. Not exactly the most accurate thing at range, it would seem. Granted, it is also me shooting, so take that with a grain of salt. But nonetheless, again, a good sort of early to mid-game weapon. And overall, an enjoyable addition. I, I love any time when uh, we do make new mods, or weapon mods rather, that do feel like they fit here. I love the idea of it being newly produced weapons that the gunsmiths here are finally just able to be skilled enough to make. It's a fun idea. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you go and do that, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one